the players are set. And there we go. Control R, one worker killed. One? Yep. Oh all my goodness. Drones, all those drones barely survived. I knew it. Insane. <laughs> that is insane. So he's he's gonna pull up for a counterattack now. Let's see, given the number of roaches in this pack, uh, yeah, this wall off is more set to deal with uh, a ling attack. <laughs> all these, all the hellions are now transforming. Uh, hellion bots burninate and roll out, I guess. Hellion bots. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, here we go. Ling's up running up to the front here. Siege tank in position gets a good shot off, kills three of them right away. Looks like uh, he's opting to go back home. Yeah. Um, just, no. Omi just shoved his face in there to want. Oh, siege tank, never mind. And then went back home. <laughs> Not necessarily a bad decision as the, uh, the Hellions are moving out now. Plus one, plus one. Yeah, this is interesting. They can move around the map so fast like this, just being able to switch back and forth. I like this change. I like the fact that we're actually getting to see this transformation thing utilized. Yeah, Hellions are definitely one of my favorite units. Uh, it's it's good that they're getting a little bit of a, a little bit of an in. Uh, so the question is, will he transform them here, or simply? I think it's smarter to transform is. before. No, nah, uh, he's just going to go in to get some damage done. That's why. Oh, he's waiting for the group up. Found it. He's going for the drones. Hits them. Oh, now wow. Now he's going to run away. He just picks up into the medevacs, sacrifices one or two, and takes off. Nice hit. Definitely worth two uh, Hellions to do that. One Hellion valiantly choosing to stay behind. And he got uh, ten workers in that. Really nicely done. He's moving around to the other side of the map. Oh, me is not staying on top of this. Looks like he moves out. He's moving out because he wants to counterattack, but he dropped off here. Oh, I think he saw the advisors. He's just going to sneak back out there, go straight into the main base, and that is causing Omi to immediately pick up and go back home. This is just like, it's basically like watching mutilus harassment. Omi simply cannot leave. And now there's two Hellbats at the front that can slow things down. This could make up the pickup kind of weird, though. Uh, no, he's not even going to bother, actually. He's just sacrificed the entire army to do that. Was it worth it? Eh, he killed another 13, another 12 workers. Probably. Each each Hellion is is worth... What is it? 200 minerals? 100? 100. 100 minerals. So, so as long as they each kill two workers, they've already paid for themselves. Yeah. Well, Mii's got a change at the front, so he knows what he's dealing with. One, two, three siege tanks up here. One at the front. Blue Flame now researched. It's going to make the Hellbats in particular very intimidating. They get a huge damage buff once Blue Flame goes into care and uh, goes into effect. Ooh, pulling all the SCVs here. This means this is going to be it. <laughs> Camping out under the range of the siege tanks. Oh, all the SCVs changing it. their minds there. So yeah, with those widow mines in front, this becomes a much less uh, appealing sort of attack to make. Check for a third here while he's at it. The thing uh, is, this SCV pool is not as problematic as it appears. He's half mined out in the main, and he's still saturated on the uh, natural. So these are more like excess workers that he can also use to repair his units at the moment, anyway. It's a good move. It's my block, though. One siege tank not in position. There we go. Link's moving forward, suiciding a few at a time. Just to try and get an, eye, uh, get an idea of what to do here. Changeling running forward. Along blue with the flame, other changeling. The blue flame combined with the, the siege tanks is, is just insane. Uh, there's so much DPS that goes down at once. Oh, I'm just gonna swing around. So let's see here. Way. Hell bats do 36 damage to light. 
Yes, they do. And they have plus two currently. Versus the normal Hellions do 23 damage to light. Oh, me poising to strike here. His uh, changeling spotted the move out of the SCVs. And here comes the Hellions diving forward. Not going to be able to do much against the Roaches here. They're not that strong. Hellbats coming up to assist. Siege tanks in the position at the back. Unfortunately, he's fighting this entire army piecemeal, which is exactly what Omi wants in this situation. Without being all balled up, the Terran neck composition Ooh, these tanks, is not though. anywhere near as strong. Tank volleys doing a lot of damage. Yep. He did drive off the base, though. Huge amount of damage there. Two changelings ready to run up and join up with the army. There's an infestation pit out for Omi. Do you think siege tanks is... Er... <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me. Siege tanks. I mean, swarm hosts. Not quite the same thing. Uh, probably... Ooh, Nidus. Totally changed my mind there. I think Nidus is a good idea. Nidus is always a good idea. Yeah, swarm hosts would be a good choice here, as would ultras. One sec. Okay. Big move out from Omi here. Moving up into the... Ooh. Gonna find out all these siege tanks are out of front. Serving suiciding themselves in. Hellbats uh, poking at the roaches there. Not very good versus, versus armored. Uh, but there is a Hellion run by down at the bottom. This uh, fourth base. Canceled the spine crawler. Gonna chase this drone. We're gonna move right into the third. Oh, the, all these drones gotta get. Ooh. Transform right in the middle of the drones. I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, took too long to do any damage there. And uh, that's gonna get cleaned up. Fairly, uh, fairly well. Transfer over to the fourth. Got a couple more scans going down, seeing where the army's at. Meanwhile, trying to get this fourth base up and running. Uh, his main is nearly mined out. So we've got a good line of siege tanks here, too. It's going to be hard for Omi to push into that and break it down. More spine crawlers going down here. It's okay, sorry about that. Perfectly fine. Step away for a moment. So I missed anything interesting. Ultra Cavern and a Nidus Worm are on the map. Oh, very nice. Or a Nidus okay. Cavern, anyway. Network. He's also got two Overlords positioned, so that he can actually <laughs> put this down. There's no vision in this part of Dave Sprite's base, so he can get this up without uh, him being able to pick up on it. He's super far out of position for it, too. Yeah, it would definitely be awesome uh, to see all of these Hydras pour into his main base, as, as much as I love Mech. Uh, they, it wouldn't be moving very fast to defend that. Um, Dave Sprite moved down here, though, and uh, pretty much wiped out, or tried to wipe out the third base, but lost all of his Hellbats to the, uh, to the army. Uh, didn't get, rare, uh, didn't really get any drones, they just transferred to the fourth over here that had just finished. Oh, Nidus is going down, main base. For those that were curious, my... Um, well, I'll explain it after we're after the game is done. But yeah, he's already got some units loaded up into this thing. What have we got? What are we looking at? Lots of roaches, hydras. Okay. So he's saving the ultra transition for later. Oh, he sees the creep. Uh, it's moving in. He blocked the construction <laughs> of a command command center at exactly the last second. Kills a few workers, and now he's going to start killing um, all the add-ons he could find. Driving away the base. Those uh, Vikings are going to show up for more support. Ooh, Kill an armory. Drop the armory. This means no more Hellbats. Uh, well, actually, no. I don't, do they lose that, that ability? That's actually a good question. They huh. do. It grays out once the armory is killed. Uh oh. They can no longer transform. He's going to sacrifice his entire army for this. For what was basically three add ons. Cutting off mining here for a little bit. Oh, he's going to get the command center. Nice. Makes it a lot more worth it, and then kills off both of the armories. Scanning check for Burrow. Uh, there is none. I wanted to do Nidus Worm Still. is taken out. Ooh, oh, oh. Dave Sprite moving in on Omi's uh, gold base here. Too many siege. Well, it's a lot of siege tanks. There's nothing here to deal with that. Approach Hydra armor coming up at the bottom to try and attack this, but there's so much DPS in here. I'm just gonna annihilate the Hydras. Ultras ultras moving though, in. And that's a completely different story. Some of them able to get in and do some Blinding damage. Cloud Actually, is down. Blinding Cloud, very nice move. Forces Amazing. Forces the siege tanks to reposition. 
trying to kite them against this, uh, the uh, Ultra was for the most part not really possible. Spreading out, though, is going to eventually take them down. Uh, if only the Vipers were there at the beginning of the engagement. Continuing to uh, roast that. away. Roast away these drones here. This hatchery will fall. So I personally would... Uh, oh, man, it's, it's rough. So I'd really love to see a Game 3 here, but this is... Uh, you know, quite the situation for Omi. He's getting a little bit starved on uh, resources, and he's fallen a little bit behind now in terms of uh, supply. Against Mech, that's extremely dangerous. Ooh, going for another push. There's still plenty of energy on these Vipers, though. Uh, blinding Cloud goes down, prevents the Siege Tanks from being at all effective. And wow, this army gets completely destroyed without the Siege Tanks. Whoa. Ouch. This kills everything. No detection, though. Can't deal with the Widow Mines. So impressive uh, comeback there, I, I would say. The the Vipers really changed that uh, that engagement completely. The the Blinding Cloud is so good. Yeah, he's, uh, Obi is clawing his way back into this. With what he's doing, and I like the fact that he's just sucking energy away from his extractors. Not in, Those are buildings that don't have a particularly huge amount of health. They can be easily rebuilt. And they will recharge most likely over time. Any attack that's coming against the base to kill the extractors is most likely going to kill the whole hatchery anyway. So, yeah, it's good. I'll leave with a Without... big move out here. Uh, boom, boom. Ow, lost the fight, but that hurts. Bling's getting out of the middle of the map. Losing another Viper. Only has one left. Without these Vipers, he cannot fight this army. Too many siege tanks here. Oh. Goes down one. Last Viper goes down. He can still fire in those, so that's good to know. But anyway, yeah, uh, Hellbad, yeah, Hellion, Blue Flame, pretty good against Hydras, as you can see. Forces Omi back. Not with much, actually. Uh, most of his army is gone. Dave Sprite, too, though, is in kind of like, kind of in an awkward position here. He can try and push forward to engage, and he's going to. He's going to try and get some workers. So, give himself a little bit more time to rebuild. I don't Blue know if I... Incredibly, I'm, incredibly powerful. I don't know if I like the fact that he transforms in the mineral line. Um, that is okay. It is giving the drones enough time to get away, though. This is just considerably more difficult to get rid of. It stays there for so much longer. So I can kind of understand it. Yeah, but if he did transform them in the sh in the uh, the fog of war and then run in, they would probably do a little more. I was just saying it would it would cause them to be able to attack uh, much quickly, much <laughs> much quickly. Such such range. <laughs> mm, very doge. Wow. Four evolution chambers hanging out at the natural. <laughs> Kind of an effective wall there, either that or that was for the, the Vipers. Oh, most certainly for the wall. It's just run two queens into that spot. Plugs it up pretty nicely. Overlord's kind of spreading around. Yep. Dave Sprite moving to a fourth base now, migrating most of his workers. His main is... Uh, <laughs> pretty much mined out. There's about 200 minerals left on each patch. And yeah, the natural's gone. So Dave's right pretty much operating on two. Oh, me kind of in the same spot. Still has some more minerals that is natural though. It's a slightly better position. Random Hellion comes down here to check things out. <laughs> Poking at a creep tuber. Probably not gonna get that before the scan goes out. Oh, maybe he is. Wow, scans last a long time, don't they? Yes they do. Here comes a, well, pretty much the entire army of Dave Sprites here to get some damage done. We'll see what uh, Omi wants to do to deal with this. There's still a small force in the middle of the map that tries to do a run by. If he doesn't pick his pathway correctly, that'll be difficult. He's probably going to lose the fourth. The key, though, is whether or not he can hold on to this third. This is an important place as far as mining is concerned to himself in this game. He loses that, and he's not really going to be able to replenish at the rate of the Terran mech, and that's a very, very scary proposition. Creep's been pushed back. Dave Sprite continuing his slow advance here. Uh, Siege tank's moving up to the high ground now. 
mining been completely abandoned at this location. Eight ultralists coming out, but three of them are popping, four of them are popping up here. Uh, and if they pop up behind the army, they might have a considerably more difficult time actually getting the damage in. This is going to be rough for Omi. He's going to lose the third. So this is already really tough. He has to do, he has to have the most efficient engagement possible here. And unfortunately, he's not running the rest of his army in over here. He's actually just waiting for more ultralists to come out. Really needs to engage with everything. He's getting away with the only one of them. Here comes some more reinforcements, though. And, uh, oof. Siege tanks sitting right in the middle of the worker rally. Getting all the workers that were going for a uh, long-range mining adventure. Also kind of okay for Omi, though, as he's able to pick this off, separate it from everything else. It shouldn't cost him any ultras. Mutalist is now coming out. Oh, and interesting. He, ooh, he can get to the other map, other side of the map and start crushing really nicely against this. Mutalisks are one of the things that Mech has traditionally a lot of problems with. You have to defend with a lot of missile turrets. If those numbers get too high, those aren't a very effective defense anymore. You need Thors to go with your army, but Vipers can make that proposition a little bit scary. So Dave Sprite knows this. Pushing he's in. Trying to get it, yeah, he's trying to get this done now. Vikings doing some work on the Mutalisks. All these tanks under fire by the... And... Oh, me GG's. Yes, uh, unfortunately he's a little bit uh, resource starved right now, so even if he did take this out, Dave Sprite's next attack would be pretty unstoppable. We saw some mech! On some mech.